Welcome back to our small but mighty studio at Las Vegas High Definition. We're glad you're joining us. We're going to unpack and configure two Mac Pro systems for the U.S. military. I'd tell you where they're going, but if I did, I'd have to kill me. And since that's not going to happen, and not today anyway, let's just see if we can't get three boxes of Apple gear into two Mac Pros. For starters, pay no attention to that man in the frame. He really doesn't know what's going on. For crying out loud, he can't even dress himself. First up, this is the fiber optic card. It has four channels, comes with its own cables. The cables are not fiber optic, they're copper. Next up, this is the internal RAID card. The card has 72 hour battery to preserve any cash that might be in there, which is important in case of, you know, power outage and the like. When you see the battery, here's the cable connects onto the card and it has to be it takes about 12 hours to charge that bad boy up when you first get started next out of the box is the ata radeon hd 4870 graphics card i call it a video card but really it's a graphics card you see the dvi and mini port so you can drive a 30 inch and 24 inch monitor and I kind of glazed by the hard drives and uh, RAM. But they're just hard drives and RAM. And uh, actually pretty easy to install. So here it is on the inside with the um, original video card removed. Well, let's get to it. On the bottom goes the Radeon. Um, it's an extra size slot, as you see, to accommodate uh, the oversized video card. It's really important to have this safety bar in the back you see i slid it back here once the card's in place and that'll slide forward and lock it in kind of gives all the all the cards here will have a, a little extra stability and then plugging the uh, radion into the appropriate slots here now on top of the radion we're putting in the original NVIDIA GT120. And make no mistake about it, this is no slouch. Just like the uh, Radeon, it has 512 megabytes of RAM on board. And it drives a DVI and a mini port. Next up, this is the fiber optic. And you notice it didn't have a little hook there for the uh, bracket to hold it in place. But the card doesn't weigh much. And um, it won't have any stability problems once it's installed. The top slot here is reserved for a very special card. And that's the internal RAID. Ah, there it is. That big silver block is the Apple battery. It comes unplugged. Um, just snap it in. There we go. Now, once you get the computer started, you'll be prompted with a automatic utility that'll ask if you want to charge that battery. And uh, it will take a while. Could take eight to 12 hours. The good news is while it's charging, you can do other things like installs. Now, once all the cards are in place, put on the bracket. This is gonna hold all the cards nice and firm at the connection points here at the back of the computer. And remember not to over tighten these screws. They're only there to hold the cards in place at the back. Isn't that pretty? On the bottom you've got the uh, HD graphics, you've got the standard graphics, the fiber optic card, and the internal RAID card. All right, in the back you'll see the connections are pretty obvious. First up we've got the Radeon fire breathing card with its own air. We've got the standard graphics, the four channel fiber, and the internal RAID card.
We'll take a quick look at the RAM. We're replacing these one gig with two and a total of 16. And there's no need to be queasy about this. It's actually a pretty simple operation. Take them out. We're putting in Kingston and start from the back, installing them, work your way forward. Now we're going to flip this thing around after we get it all configured. And you'll see here in the back that the into all eight cores and all the RAM runs through this connector right here. It would be pretty unique. The beautiful thing. And once this is slid into place and seats, simply snap these latches in. And that's it. It's done. Your computer is ready for the moon. Now get to work.